Welcome back to Tribal Council, final five here in I Survivor Seychelles. I want to thank you all for coming and for playing. You guys have busted your asses to get this far in the game. This is the home stretch. This is power through week. By the end of this weekend, one of you will be crowned the 35th Soul Eye Survivor. Let's start with recapping what's happened since the last time I saw you guys. Ali, last time we were here, Kira got voted out. Were you at all surprised by this result? It's the first Praslin to be voted out since the merge occurred. Yeah, I thought that everybody would be voting for Grace last round. So seeing the votes for Kira really makes, made me like nervous. I loved Kira in this game. And I see it now why she was voted off, but I found out that she was getting voted off really late into the round, so I had no idea until the very end. So going into Tribal, were you aware that there was a potential for her to go? I knew that Grace was voting for her, um, but I did not know that everybody else would be voting for her as well. Were you shocked specifically by any individuals who did end up sending Kira home? Um, Oliver, Courtney, and Michael. Yeah, I'm surprised by all of them. Have you been able to discuss what went down and why decisions were made? Yeah, I, I know why this decision was made. I honestly thought people viewed me and Kira as like a kind of a duo ship, so that's why. And also Kira was, had a really good case at the end. So, yeah, and then... Yeah, that's Does it leave you feeling vulnerable now? Like you were not either included, told last minute, and then you ended up voting in minority. So late in the game, do you feel like spotlight's on you? You're the only one from the last round who didn't vote with the group. Um, You could see it as like that, but then again, I'm not going to go home this round. Sonny will know. I'm too good in this game. I have like 15 idols. But I honestly think I've made enough work to like not let it be me this round because after the whole care about I try to talk to everybody and I feel like I have good connections that the thing I want to happen tonight will definitely happen tonight. <laughs> One of my favorite questions is is what you're going what you want to have to happen, is that going to happen? Let's take it to Oliver. Thank you, Ali. Best of luck in the vote. Ali, do you hold the same sentiment as Ali that do you think <laughs> What's going to happen tonight is going to happen tonight. I'm sorry, I just couldn't get over the Ali, Ali thing. Um, <laughs> hence what, why we had to name question? you. Hence why we had to name you Oliver, because I know you go by Ali. His name is Ali. <laughs> it was just way too confusing. And then I ended up putting you both on the same tribe. I was like, we have an issue here. <laughs> um, how confident are you that what you want to happen tonight is going to happen tonight? Um like 50 50 um just because in this game um i'm never gonna feel confident that the vote's gonna go the way it's gonna go um sorry um and i'm like always nervous that i'm gonna be the one going so yeah <laughs> do you feel vulnerable without immunity tonight yeah, always. When I don't have immunity, I always feel vulnerable. You should never feel safe if you, unless you have immunity. Like that has always been my standpoint with these games. Like this, because it's it's true in real life Survivor. You see, the second you get comfortable is when you're most prone to going out. So I literally always am. I'm paranoid, and more so tonight. Based on the last vote, you voted in majority. Mm -hmm. Ali was the one who two voted with Kira based on the votes last time. How probable is it that the lines that were either drawn last vote in terms of who voted where will mm -hmm. continue this time, right? If it continues, Ali's the odd man out. Mm. Or is there going to be a shakeup this round from your perspective? Um, there could always be a shake-up. I'm of, like, I feel like in terms of that, I'm just nervous, obviously, of the shake-up being a hindrance to me. But yeah, I, I again, I, I can't say for sure what's going to happen because you never know. I'm just praying that, obviously, I am hopefully here until the final four. What 
are you banking on tonight? That your social bonds pull you through here? Sort of what Ali said? Yeah, um, that and kind of the what I've done in this game and kind of the bond, yeah, the bonds that I have made are the ones that carry me through. Yeah. All right. Sorry, I'm, I'm so mentally nope. drained. But. No, you're good. Why? Why do you feel mentally drained? Let's touch on um, that. Just this game. Um, I think I. I mean, everyone can attest to this. Like, obviously, whenever it comes to these games, it's always so hard mentally. Um, and I just think with the stress that's obviously happening, like just happened today, and it's going to go on tomorrow for me. Obviously, everything's just going. <sighs> like I feel like I'm at one of those moments where it's like you could ask me what I'm having for dinner and I would just burst into tears. Yeah. <laughs> well, I hope whether you survive tonight or not that you feel better and best of luck with the move and best of luck tonight, okay? We love you. <laughs> Michael! How does it feel wearing immunity around that neck? Oh, it feels so good. <laughs> the um, memory challenge. I, Did you expect that out of yourself? No, I really didn't. Because I had I was maybe awake for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, when I told you I, was, I would do the challenge. Then I was like, let's just, let's just get this over with. And I honestly wasn't expecting to do so well. Um, I don't consider myself like super smart or anything like that. Um, I cheated all my way through school and college, so I'm, I'm, real, I'm not gonna lie about that. Like, I definitely, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't consider myself some genius, so I'm, I'm really shocked that I got that. Um, was it something that, like, is going on your bucket list now, winning that immunity? I, I mean, I guess, I honestly, like, are you talking about like my real life bucket list? No, like the oh. game bucket list. Like, <laughs> like was, this an ex was this like a, was something that you wanted to accomplish and now you feel accomplished because? Yes, yeah. God. Yes. I've, mm, I've been wanting one because I'm just like, I'm like, I want to feel like I did something. Like, I don't know. So for you being safe, you have nothing to lose tonight, right? And I guess same thing with Oliver and Ali. Is what about to happen? your ideal like i know you don't know the outcome but how confident are you that what you want to happen is going to result tonight i i think it's just dwindling in numbers and i i trust the people that i have surrounded myself with and that i hope they do as they said they were going to do before tribal I don't know, it could it could honestly flip and I don't want to be left out. Honestly, it's gonna make me feel like shit. Um, but I do trust the people around me, so. When does it get to a point in this game where you gotta reevaluate those you trust if they're going to beat you in the end? Has it reached that point yet? Is this something that you've always been thinking about? Because trust is one thing, trust will get you to the end, right? But if any of you trust somebody and then you can't beat them or is something is that something you're willing to 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 go and do is take somebody you trust the most even if you can't beat them to try to beat them try to just like think that out for me talk it out i get that but i don't know it's just it's i don't want to say like yeah i want i want people to beat me that's not what i'm saying at all but i i don't know i guess i'm just an emotional person you would know like in my confessionals. I'm just an emotional person. And so like, I think my emotion, I, I don't know. I feel more comfortable with myself if I, um, I don't know. Sounds like, it's, it, know. Sounds, it sounds like you, you play with your heart on your sleeves. You're an emotional guy. It's gotten you this far and sort of like not broken, don't fix it. If it got yeah. you this far, I can that, take you to the end. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a more elo eloquent way to say it. Usually not eloquent. Thank you. Uh, no, I don't need to give, wish you best of luck in the vote, but congratulations on immunity. Top? What, what are you in? Top four? Are you in the top four? four? Yeah. You're in the top four, motherfucker. Good job. Courtney. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very well. 
I would like to let you know you did. I think I'm pretty sure you placed second in that challenge despite all that was going on. So good job. Oh. Thank you for thank you for bearing with us and as we bared with you. So um, good job on that. Top four. You just said it's Michael. It is so close. What have you done to get there today specifically? Anything or has this been like a culmination of effort that is going to get you to the four? I think that it is a game long um, thing of being loyal, being honest, being open, having building trust and trusting the people that that trust was built with. So sort of the same thing as Michael now for you trust and someone who you trust who can beat you, who has a really good story, who has those characteristics. When or how do you work this out in your mind? You know, like if you want to win, how do you mitigate trust and a threat? I personally feel that, I guess I, trust is always a priority for me. I try to play in a way in which I feel like I can be proud of my story if I make it to the end, regardless of who I'm with. Um, I never really look at someone else's threat level as much as I just look at how much I can depend on them. Um, and for me, like if I if I didn't play a good enough game to go to the end with the person or people or whatever that I trust, then I don't deserve to win. I'm, I'm not ever gonna take somebody that I think played a lesser game than me just because like, that's just not how I play. If, if I'm not, if I can't go and win with anybody, then the person who beats me deserve it. Sort of, so in short, in order to be the best or in order to win, you got to beat the best. And if you lose, you deserve to lose. If you win, then I'm gonna be, be the best. I but, just, for me, like trust is the way, trust and loyalty is the way that you get to the end. Mm -hmm. And then once you're there, hopefully you did good enough. And if you didn't like, well, you at least kept to your word. I don't know. Well said. All right, final five. Grace is not here. Not gonna ask her a question. Um, does anybody here have anything that they would like to get off their chest before we get to the boat? This is the glory spot round here, Nice Survivor. Typically, I mean, I've been doing this since I was 17. I'm 34 now and it's a trend. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it's a trend um, in this series where that the fifth place person is usually like the fan favorite, the alumni root for this person. Um, their pr production's favorite and or they have like the winning story at this point in the game and this is their demise. So one of you, whether you fit that criteria or not, are going to fall in line with many great players here in the past. So speak now or forever hold your peace and become the reigning glory spot holder. <laughs> All right, I love each and every one of you, but it is time to vote. You guys know the drill. Head over to your Discord PM, or not PMs, your Discord confessional chats with production. I'm gonna type in the name of the person you want to see go home. I will go and tally the votes, my friends. I have the votes. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. You will become the fifth member of the jury. First vote. Ali. Grace. That's one vote for Ali. One vote for Grace. Oliver, it's one vote for Grace, one vote for Ali, and one vote for Oliver. Grace, it's two votes, Grace, one vote for both Ali and Oliver. Last vote, Oliver. We are tied, two votes for Grace, Two votes for Oliver, 
we are going to have a re-vote. In this situation, Oliver, you are not going to vote. Grace is not going to vote. Michael, Ali, Courtney, you guys will cast a vote. Please send your re-votes now. I have the revotes. There are three. We will not have a tie after this. Again, once the votes are read, the decision is final. Person voted out will be asked to leave Chop Council area immediately. You'll head to the jury as its fifth member. I read the votes. First vote. Grace. Oliver. That is one vote for Grace, one vote for Oliver, one vote left. The 12th person voted out of I Survivor Seychelles, fifth member of our jury. Oliver. Oh. Oliver, you need to bring me your torch. Fortunately for you tonight, the tribe has spoken. Because Mike was a fake cunt. Oops. Oliver. No one's one winning against you. I'm sorry. Bye. I, I, I literally, obviously, because I'm quite heated, obviously. Um, but yeah, thanks for having me, Sandy. I'm sorry you've now got to deal with some of these people who are so unorganized with their lives. But at least I get to go see my man and not have to worry about this until whenever. Um, Ali, I love you to pieces, but you will not have my vote at the end. You're one of the most arrogant players ever. Love you to pieces. But also what you don't know is Michael currently has more final twos than you think, and if you think he's going to be loyal to you, he's not. Um, Courtney, love you. Grace, love you. Michael, that's personal. Ali, it has been a pleasure. Thank you from moment one to the final moment here, giving it your all, day in, day out, in England, dealing with crazy time zones like I couldn't ask for anything more from a contestant. Um, I know only my, my words can only do so much to make you feel a little bit better in this situation. But Sandy, to be fair, what I got to saw what I saw today in the challenge makes it all worth it. <laughs> <laughs> You're off what to the jury. What the you're off to the jury, my friend. Love you, mean it. Love you. Love you, Courtney. Love you, Grace. Well. Congrats on the final four. It's taken a, over a month. A bunch of torches snuffed. A bunch of relationships made, broken. Moves still need to be made. There's two more tribal councils until we reach the finale. There's only two spots in the finals. There's four of you left. There's still more game to play. You guys can head back to camp, sort out what just went down, and I will see you guys at the next immunity challenge. <laughs>